Hey, brand builder, Rory Vaden here. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this interview. As always, it's our honor to provide it to you for free and wanted to let you know there's no big sales pitch or anything coming uh, at the end. However, if you are someone who is looking to build and monetize your personal brand, we would love to talk to you and get to know you a little bit and hear about some of your dreams and visions and share with you a little bit about what we're up to to see if we might be a fit. So if you're interested in a free strategy call with someone from our team, we would love to hear from you. You can do that at brandbuildersgroup.com slash podcall, brandbuildersgroup.com slash podcall. We hope to talk to you soon. Hey everybody, this is AJ Vaden here and welcome to my recap episode on my conversation with formal, former NFL player Clay Harbor. Uh, I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me, former NFL um, player Clay Harbor. Um, and this is a, I would say an inspirational, motivational um, episode, but also with some tactical details about um, how to launch and grow your personal brand. If you are thinking about starting or growing your coaching, consulting, speaking business, uh, definitely worth a full listen. But uh, here's my take on this episode and uh, some of the big things um, that I walked away with from this and my my view on this, and I think this is a really important conversation to have, is how is comparison holding you back? And on the interview, Clay talked a lot about showing up and uh, the difference between 80%, 100%, 0%, um, and the importance of not just showing up, but showing up consistently. Um, and then it got me thinking about my own life and uh, lives of people I know and how much that comparison is the reason that we don't show up. Um, and most often the reason that we don't show up consistently. And so here's my question for you today, if you're listening to this video is, what are you comparing yourself to? Or who are you comparing yourself to that you need to let go? And I don't care who you are, what you do. There is something or someone um, that you compare yourself to that at some point in your life will make you feel not good enough, not worthy enough, not smart enough, not successful enough, um, not doing enough, not helping enough, not making enough, uh, whatever it is, fill in the blank, not enough. Um, and that's what comparison does. Um, comparison makes you feel not enough. And that's the problem with comparison is so often as individuals, um, specifically individuals who are trying to do something bigger um, than what we're currently doing is we get stopped by looking around and comparing our step one to someone else, their step 1000. And we just don't know what their step is. And I just, I know when we started Brain Builders Group um, just four and a half years ago, it was really easy to go, oh my gosh, here we are starting a personal brand strategy firm. And our personal brands had recently been um, scratched and completely, we were completely starting over. Um, so neither my husband, Rory Vade, and I had any social media followers. Uh, we, we had lost our podcast. We hadn't even started a new one. Uh, we hadn't even um, created a, a website for Brand Builders Group when we started. And there was a lot of opportunity for us to go, we can't do this because of this, 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 and this. Like, what are people going to think if we're a personal brand strategy firm and we don't even have a podcast launch, we have no social media followers, we don't even have a website, for goodness sake, what will people think? And I know that in many times in our life and in my life specifically, that would have stopped me. It would have held me back and said, well, here's one excuse of why I'm not ready. And here's another excuse of why I don't have time. And here's another excuse of how I can't afford it. And here's another excuse of, well, what are people going to think? I could go on and on and on. The point is, is they all had to do with comparison. Um, because the truth is, is uh, we did launch Brain Builders Group with no website and with no social media followings and with no podcast, um, and we were just fine. We were just fine. And that had a lot to do with uh, doing it in spite of what we thought other people would think. 
Um, because here's the truth, we could have uh, launched with all of those things and people were still gonna have opinions, good or bad. So we could launch without all of those things and people were still gonna have thoughts, good or bad. So why not just do it? Because the truth is comparison most often just hurts us. There's always gonna be people who love you and love what you do gonna, and love what you do. There's always gonna be people who don't love you and who don't love what you do. That cannot be what holds you back because that only hurts you. Comparison hurts you. Uh, it's an internal thing that we suffer with and we're the only ones um, who actually have negative effects from how we compare ourselves to. And it, it's really easy in a world today to get caught up with well, what does this person have and what do they look like and what are they wearing and what are they doing and how many followers do they have and what, how many likes do they have and how many downloads and how much money do they make? And sometimes we just need to stop looking around and put on some blinders and go, everybody is on their own path. Everyone is on their own journey. And truly as an outsider looking in, we get a very surface level perspective of what every single person is going through because at the end of the day we all know that every single person on planet earth has a struggle they have problems they have issues um, they have their own insecurities they suffer with their own level of comparison um, and we don't get that picture uh, we don't get to see all of the struggles and the hurdles and the obstacles that happened um, you know, years before or days before, we don't get to see the behind the scenes that would eliminate the level of comparison and the significance that that has in our own decision making. And so if we stop looking around and we just put our heads down and, and focus on what are we called to do? And what do I feel like my mission is? And, you know, for me, it's like, what is the calling that God has on my life? And how can I serve people? And I think that's the biggest thing. It's like when we're focused on showing up for other people, comparison starts to go away. Um, when comparison creeps in is when I'm worried about me, myself, and I. But when I'm worried about who I'm serving, and I'm worried about my clients, and I'm worried about my family, and I'm worried about my friends, and I'm worried about causes that I believe in, when I'm worried about the people that I know are suffering, it's like, my comparison goes away, because it's not about me. It's not supposed to be about us. And when you focus on serving, and you actually focus on like, I think I could help somebody. Um, I, I know I could help somebody. And even if it's one person, it's like, focus on that person. And those feelings of comparison start to go away. And it doesn't really matter if you have a nice website or hundreds of thousands of followers or a best-selling book or you know, a, you know, a notable podcast. And those, don't get me wrong, those things are great. And I think you help a lot of people and you get more reach. So don't get me wrong here. But when you focus on the one, when you focus on serving who's right in front of you, the neighbor next door, um, the kid down the street, your colleague, your coworker, that client who really needs you, comparison just diminishes. It just starts to go away. But you got to show up um, and you got to do it consistently um, because comparison will creep back in the moment that you stop focusing on the people around you, the people that you were called to serve. And so um, I do encourage you to go listen to this whole podcast because it is about showing up and doing it consistently and not making it about you. And I think that's where we get to shine the most is when it's not about us, when it's about the audience and the people that we can help and that we can serve and the benefit for us in addition to doing good works is, um, that feeling of comparison goes away. And what it's filled with is uh, satisfaction of knowing it's like, I have purpose. Uh, I can do things for people who need help. Um, and it gives you a newfound level of purpose and passion and mission that maybe didn't exist the minute before you did it. So uh, focus on serving, it eliminates comparison, show up, do it consistently and go check out this full podcast. Uh, I'll check you, I'll check you next time on the Influential Personal Brand. See you later.